Hi guys! So as you can tell by my hair in this frilly top, we're gonna do a makeup transformation inspired by creepy dolls and puppets. I've been watching a lot of old Twilight Zone TV shows. The Goosebumps, Are You Afraid of the Dark, and I've been inspired by the mini creepy dolls in these shows. And I don't know if you remember the movie Dead Silence with the creepy old woman and her dolls, but that also inspired me to make my own. So, let's get started. So first of all, I need to pin back my bangs, get my hair out of my face. And we're gonna use some Elmer's glue to do the disappearing eyebrow trick. And a lot of you guys have been asking me if this comes off, and yes it does with actual makeup remover. If you let it sit in, it won't like rip your eyebrow hairs out. But I just do a layer of that powder, let it dry, another layer of it, let it dry a little bit to get tacky, and another layer of powder, and that should set it to make a smooth surface to apply whatever makeup you want to do on it. And now that you look like a creepy child who just tried to do her own eyebrows for the first time by shaving them off, you are gonna use setting spray. I'm using Urban Decay's D Slick. And then I'm gonna get one of my very favorite foundations. This is the Ket Cream Foundations. I use the lighter shades under my eyes and the regular shade that matches my skin tone all over. I used the overpriced Beauty Blender and then you dab that all over your face to blend it in. And don't wet it too much because you might mess up your eyebrows. Then you're gonna take some concealer and put it over those eyebrows to make them disappear like a magician. Wow, David Blaine, watch out. Use whatever foundation that you prefer that matches your skin. You might want a medium to full coverage foundation for this because you want your face to look plastic and doll-like but not cakey. Make sure your foundation goes over your lips because you want a blank canvas there as well. Using the same matte face powder I used on my eyebrows all over my skin to set that makeup. Also using like the powder puff that you get in the makeup compacts because it evenly distributes the powder without messing up your foundation underneath it. Then we're gonna start with the eyes, getting a white eyeliner pencil. This is just the drugstore Rimmel Coal Eyeliner and start drawing in the whites around your eyes. We're gonna make our eyes look larger and do white on the top and the bottom. Sometimes if the coal liner pencil is just not going onto your skin that well, you could get a lighter. Do not play with fire unless you have permission, but you could get the flame close to the eyeliner pencil for literally just a couple seconds. You don't want it to melt everywhere so that it applies better, or you could get NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, which is my favorite. And then go back with that white eyeliner pencil and then do your waterline. Of course, you don't have to if you're more squeamish, but this will just make your eyes look bigger, better, like that anime cool creepy girl doll that you see in Korean music videos. I'm all for that style. Now that you think the whites are evenly distributed on both sides of your eyes, I'm going to get this orangey bronze color eyeshadow with a fluffy eyeshadow brush and start doing that on top of my lids, but not over the whites that we put there with the pencil and NYX Jumbo pencils. Doing that on both lids and getting a clean, big, fluffy blending brush and blending that all out so that it won't have harsh lines. And then I'm just getting my everyday bronzing powder and using that as a transition color from my skin tone to that orangey bronze eyeshadow that we just put on. And then I'm gonna go even further and contour my nose with it as well. Don't do too harsh of a contour, but you want your nose to look more smaller, defined like a doll. Girl, if you got a perfect, cute button nose, you don't even need this step. Honestly, it's optional. It's not a necessity to do this. Now I'm just getting a shimmery, pearly white eyeshadow color and patting that on the whites of the eyes that we just drew on. This is going to set the white pigment that you put on your eyes so that it won't smear everywhere. Now I'm just getting a brown eyeliner pencil and then we're gonna do the lines below the whites of our eyes that we drew on and above it in between the bronze eyeshadows and the other side of the whites that we did on our lids. But I'm taking that orangey, brown, bronzy eyeshadow color that we used before and doing it on that lower bottom of the circle of the whites that we did in the eyeliner. Doing the same thing with the bronzer. You just want it to gradually fade out from the eyeshadow color to the bronzer to your skin color. 
Then I'm getting a push liner brush with a very dark, it's like a raisin brown. It has a little bit of hints of burgundy, but it's a really dark brown. Honestly, girl, just get a matte brown eyeshadow and put that between the eyeliner and the bronzy orange eyeshadow to blend it and have a really cool smoky eye effect. But this is going to help enlarge our eyes and the whites that we drew on as well. Make sure you blend these colors together but not make them too muddy as you go along. You're also going to put the brown eyeshadow on your lower white of that lash line we're making. It kind of looks like you just got the center cream filling of the Oreos and just pat those onto your eyes to make like fake eyeballs over our real ones. I don't know if this looks creepy, cute, or both. Probably both. And once you think you got all the colors blended nicely, you're going to get some black liquid eyeliner and draw in what these are going to be our fake lash lines on what our doll's going to have. And now that it looks like we just popped out of a Katy Perry Alien music video, I'm going to get some fake eyelashes. I love this Kiss brand because it comes with double the amount of eyelashes. So just get your eyelash glue and slap those on where you naturally put your regular eyelashes. And like I said, putting on eyelashes should be an Olympic team marathon. It is one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. I don't know why I don't know how to glue fake pieces of hair to the outside of my eyeballs on that flap of skin. But I have to say these tweezers are like little cheat codes that make it a lot easier. But that's like turning a major difficult level into slightly less difficult. And now that you're done putting those lashes on where your actual lash lines are, we're going to put them on the bottom fake lash line that we made. Here comes the creep mode, and if you think that putting fake eyelashes on your lash line is hard, try to put it on your cheeks. It is so much more difficult. You can use some mascara to blend in your natural lashes with the fake ones if you'd like. I look like an anime fan who just took it way too far. As you can tell, the bottom lashes have little white dots, and while I wait for that lash glue to completely dry, I'm going to draw on my fake eyebrows with a light brown eyeliner pencil. You want to do one line and then do like little hair strokes. Like you know how dolls have those really creepy like perfect eyebrows that look like I Love Lucy? Dang, she had some pretty brows. Like they're really handmade, they were drawn on your forehead. You're going to do that and try to make them even as possible. Just getting that dark brown eyeshadow and putting it near those fake lashes we just stuck on our cheeks. And then finally when the lash glue's all dry with the black eyeliner, you are going to cover those fake eyelash bands to make it blend into the fake eyelash line we drew on our cheeks. Now time for one of my very favorite parts and it is to contour our face. It sounds like I'm on a game show, but I'm going to get my Hoola bronzer that I always use and love with a contouring brush and just do not too harsh of a contour, but one that goes inwards. With a little bit of an edge, we're going to do this trick where we do like a fake cheekbone where we get part of the brush and then do a smudge where our laugh line is and then under your chin on your jawline. Then to get the major rosy cheeks, you don't need an actual blush because I couldn't find a color that I liked. I am making my own with some eyeshadows of a matte bright pink and then with the bronzy eyeshadow color we did on our eyes, I'm putting that over it as well. You want the center of it to be very pigmented and then blend out into your contour lines. Then taking that light brown eyeliner pencil that we use on our eyebrows, we are going to make freckles and do dots all over your nose and the top of your cheeks. Not too much, not too little, not too hard, and not too light. Sounds like a three bears fairy tale with eyeliner pencil, but you want these freckles to look natural but also scattered and not too light, not too dark either. You don't want like dark spots that look like holes in your face. You can look up pictures of dolls with freckles if you'd like. Maybe a little creepy of a Google search. If you mess up and do too dark, you could also pat it with your fingers as you go. I used to be so envious of people with freckles as a child and I still am. And once you're all freckled up, it is time to paint our creepy mouth that just makes this whole thing pop. We're gonna get some white cream makeup. I'm using the Makeup Forever Flash Palette, but of course you can use whatever Halloween makeup you want and paint it on just our bottom lip. Depending on how large your lips are, you can do your whole entire bottom lip or over it or not the whole thing. 
and then you're gonna do a crescent moon under it to have a parallel line of that other one, but on your chin and not right under it. Leave a space as a gap because that is going to be the inside of this creepy doll mouth. Once you got both of those white crescent moon shapes, we are gonna get some black face paint and paint the inside between those two white shapes that we drew on and under our lips. Then I'm just getting whatever matte red lipstick I have on hand. This is the Revlon Color Burst Lip Stain, my absolute favorite one, the matte ones. And I'm going to draw the upper lip and then take it below and draw the bottom lip that's hitting the very bottom of my chin almost. This is going to be the open mouth of our dummy, creepy doll look. You can use a lip brush to make it more precise. And then once you think you have the mouth in the right position and size that you want it to be, you're going to get a very thin paintbrush with the black Halloween makeup and do lines of the teeth. You want these teeth to look like trident square pieces of gum like stuck as teeth for this creepy doll. And then you're going to take it even further, get that very thin paintbrush that you're using to make the teeth and make lines on the sides of the mouth you just drew to make it look like that jaw is just about to drop open like the creepy puppet dummy dolls that we're trying to achieve. To finish off and accessorize this creepy doll look, I made this necklace out of a necklace I already had with a bow I already had and then put a pendant that I found at a swap meet on top of the bow. I think it makes it look like a dead Victorian creepy doll. You can also accessorize in other ways. I took this very cool clock bag that I got from Choi's and I just think it looks so cool. The creepy necklace and bag goes so well with this top that I found and I got from Choi's. I just love the oversized and frilly collars and I got this very cute black skater skirt that I got from Amazon.com and I just think this makes it that much more creepier. If your clothes go with the makeup, you could just go skipping down the street and creep everyone out. But that is our finished look and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching, for all your patience. I know it has been a while since I made one of these makeup transformations videos, but I was out of town and I've been trying so hard to make my new camera work with these new makeup looks. I have to admit this was kind of fun to take off because it was like you're taking apart a creepy doll's face. The original time it took me to make this was roughly almost four hours. All the products that I used in this video will be listed down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. Stay tuned for more videos coming this week on this channel. Thumbs up this video if you would like other makeup transformations shown in the future. And I love you guys. See you soon. Bye.